Hi, I'm Alex from Cycling Avenue, and today Felix will show you how to unbox your bike and be ready to roll as soon as possible. You can scan the QR code on the side of the box with your smartphone to access our assembly manual. At any point, if you need help during the assembly process, feel free to contact our customer service agents. First, remove the accessory box. The provided multi-tool will be located inside. Remove the bike from the box and begin by cutting the zip tie securing the front wheel to the frame. Put the front wheel aside and untie the seat post. Next, you'll want to free the handlebars from the frame. If the stem is facing the opposite direction from the fork, using the Allen key on the multi-tool, loosen the stem around the steerer tube. You can now rotate the stem so it's facing forwards. Remove the handlebar stem bolts and the stem plates. You'll then be ready to install the handlebars. Make sure no cables are pinched between the stem and the handlebar itself. Tighten the bolts gradually to 5 Nm in a star-like pattern. That way, the bolts will be evenly tightened. If your bike is equipped with disc brakes, remove the true axle, and if the bike has a quick-release system, you'll probably need to remove the protector. If equipped, remove the disc brake pad spacer. Next, install the front wheel. Reinstall the true axle or the quick release. Make sure both systems are tightened to required specs. If your bike has a carbon seat post, apply a fine layer of carbon paste before inserting the seat post into the frame. Insert the seat post and torque it down to the manufacturer's specifications. You're now ready to pump your tires. If you need help figuring out which pressure is right for you and your type of bike, please check out our article on how to pump your tires and choose the right tire pressure in our blog section. Now that the front wheel is installed and the tires are pumped up, it's a good time to check the angle of your handlebars and the lever hoods. This neutral position is a really good starting point. Your wrist will keep a natural bend when your hands are resting on the hoods. Now that your handlebars are leveled, make sure the front wheel is aligned with the rest of the bike. To make the adjustment, partly unscrew the bolt securing the stem to the steerer tube. Once the front wheel is straight, start by tightening the expansion plug bolt followed by the stem bolts. Make sure to follow the manufacturer's torque specifications. You're almost ready to go. Now it's time to install the pedals. Our pedals are labeled left or right on the face of the spindle. The right pedal will screw in normally, while the left pedal has a reverse tread. This means you will need to rotate the pedal spindle counterclockwise in order to screw it in. You can speed up the process by using the crank to your advantage. Rotate it clockwise, so the spindle will rotate counterclockwise for the left pedal. Finish the pedal installation by tightening the spindle with a 15mm wrench. 
Before heading out, do a quick check on all the key components. Make sure the gears and the brakes are functioning properly. You can now enjoy your brand new bike. See you on the road.